You know, it's taken more than 50 years, but San Francisco could turn a major road in Golden Gate Park into a pedestrian highway for good. As KPX 5's Devin Feely reports, most of JFK Drive was closed to cars when the pandemic began, and the city could make that closure permanent. I support uh, keeping JFK car free. I think it's been a wonderful thing uh, during the pandemic and it should continue. Supervisor Matt Haney adding his voice to a growing chorus calling for JFK Drive to stay car free even once the pandemic is finally over. A lot of people use it to get to the other side of the city and stuff like that. So cutting it off would obviously create more traffic. So I think that's just the main point. The city shut down JFK to cars early in the pandemic, a move designed to give people a place to get outside, to exercise, and still maintain social distance. It's become wildly popular with walkers, joggers, and cyclists. During quarantine and also during COVID, I've been running on the street every single day, and so many pedestrians get hit by cars, and I feel much more safe and comfortable running on this street. The city is now trying to figure out if the temporary change should become permanent or perhaps revert back to the way it was pre-pandemic. Open on weekdays, closed to cars on weekends. Supervisor Haney says there are issues. Disabled access for one, getting to the museums easily for another. But he believes those are problems that have common sense solutions. There are, you know, tons of folks who are walking, who are biking, children, families, roller, roller skating. Uh, and it's in the middle of a park. It is uh, should be used by people. Closing JFK to car traffic has been discussed for decades. Haney says it's taken a while and a pandemic to finally arrive at the intersection of city policy and common sense. Devin Feely, KPIX 5. City is asking residents what they think. A final decision is expected next year.